Hello, welcome to our video for Wednesday Night Hop. This is our tandem charleston class in August 2013, our third week. Yes, this is our Burning Man edition. That's why I have the red feathers. And at least I have a shiny <laughs> and shirt. shiny. <laughs> yes, and this is Rebecca. This is Peter. And so in class today, we started with the Around the World Charleston, where we both get to turn. So if we're in tandem position, we start with the basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one, two, three, five, six, seven. Once again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. The tricky part is all of the hand changing. So um, just to break it down real quick, as we did in class, you start with the right arms over, drop the left hands, leads left hand behind the back, connects to your follower's right hand, and right hand lets go, right hand connects again, and left hand connects. For the followers, we want to make sure that we maintain steady and equal pressure with our hands at all times, and in the end, make sure our left hand is available for our leader to pick it up. Around, equal pressure, around, and together. So once again, from an another angle, so you can see, we go one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. After we did that, we went into the chase, which is a really fun way to get into Tandem Charleston. We'll demonstrate one time first. It goes one, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'll notice that this is a little bit similar to the uh, entry that we did before, except it's a little bit more dynamic. So you really want to have that stretch and compression as you're going into the chase. Yeah. The key difference is that we're changing what we used to have as a lead rock step into a step away. We'll freeze there for a moment. The leads are kicking away when we might have done a rock step before. Now we have a nice big stretch there and leads you have to make sure that your follow is doing a nice rock step. So you have to lead that too. After you do this, we're chasing along this line. One more kick and back into tandem position. So the whole thing again. One, one, two, two three, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. One, one two, two, three, three four. And how about one more angle so you can see a little bit better? And one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. One, one, two, three. three. Into tandem. All, All right, yeah. from there we did the Shadow Charleston. Yes. A tricky move. Um, but it looks like this. We'll try this angle. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, from the front, it looks like this. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Remember, leaders, you're bringing your hand in close to your follower's hip on three on the right side and on seven on the left side. Yep. If you have trouble with this one, just practice the footwork by yourself like we did in class, kicking out and across, kicking out and across. That's the important thing. So we didn't go over an exit for this move, but we'll show it to you as a video challenge so you can have a preview for next week. So here's our exit from the front. One, one two, two, three. three four, this is five, a basic. Six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, shadow. five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back into tandem. So we can do a little follower's turn at the end and we'll break that down for you next time. All right, see you next week. Thanks for watching.